This video is going to be a walkthrough of capacitors in series in the circuit, and we're going to discuss charge, and we're going to discuss volt drops across each capacitor. So we've got these guys here. Now again, this is just going to be a walkthrough. It's not going to be an in-depth lesson. I'm going to assume that you know this from other videos, but we're just going to go through the math part of it right now. Now again, with this circuit here, there's a few formulas that we're going to have to go through. So let's take a peek at what formulas we're dealing with with this determining volt drops across each capacitor. So the formulas that we're definitely going to be needing is this is a big one for us. This is Q is equal to C times V. The Q is your charge, and that is measured in coulombs. The C is your capacitance, measured in farads, and the V is your voltage. So we're going to see, we're going to transpose this guy to figure out what our voltage is in a bit here. Now, it's also important that we determine what the total circuit capacitance is. Now, this is a theoretical circuit, so we don't have any resistance, but our capacitance, our capacitors in series, we add them up reciprocally. 1 over CT is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3 dot dot dot. That's because as we have these guys in series, it is like we're taking all three of them, adding them together, and increasing the distance between the plates. And if you increase the distance between the plates in a capacitor, then you've increased the cap decreased the capacitance. Then the last one is this. We're taking this video because we're going to try to determine the voltage across each capacitor. We're just going to take this guy and transpose it, and it works out to be this. Voltage across the capacitor is equal to the charge divided by the capacitance. So let's take a peek at the, the walkthrough here. In this case, I've got a 140 volts source. I've got a 20 microfarad capacitor, a 40 microfarad capacitor, and a 50 microfarad capacitor here. The first thing we have to do is we're going to have to work out what our capacitance total is in the circuit. I'm going to have to go 1 over 20 plus 1 over 40 plus 1 over 50 gets me 1 over, and it'll get me the answer, which in this case is 10.9 microfarads. So in this nice little green there. So we've got 10.9 microfarads total circuit capacitance. We need to work out what our charge is. Now, if you go back a couple seconds there to where I talked about the formulas, Q is equal to C times V. So all we have to do is take this voltage here, 140 volts, and we multiply it by 10.9 microfarads. Remember, you have to convert that back to farads, so it's going to be 10.9 times 10 to the negative sixth, and we get the total charge in the circuit, which works out to be 1.5 millicoulombs. Now, if you remember, in a circuit, especially seri not especially in a series circuit, the one thing that doesn't change is the current. The current remains constant. If I had 5 amps total here, I'd end up having 5 amps across that, 5 amps across that, and 5 amps across that. Charge, all charges, is the number of electrons in the circuit. When you think about what current is, current is the flow of charge or flow of electrons. So we think of charge as being the same thing. The charge is the same the whole way through the circuit. If I have a total charge of 1.5 millicoulombs, that means that this capacitor will have a charge across it of 1.5 millicoulombs. This guy will have a charge across it of 1.5 millicoulombs. And this guy will have a charge across it of 1.5 millicoulombs. So let's get those drawn in there. OK, we've got our charges. Now, if you might notice I've got, and I do this intentionally, I put my charge above my capacitance in each and every one. So this guy was 1.5 over the 20 microfarads. This guy's 1.5 over the 40 microfarads. This guy's 1.5 milli over the 50 microfarads. I do that intentionally because if you remember back to when we were looking at the formulas, when we were determining the voltage, let me just get my handy dandy pen out here. Our voltage formula is V is equal to Q over C. So what I've done here is I've taken my Q and I just put it over my C. So it reminds me that all I have to do when it comes time to determine the voltages is take this number, 1.5 milli, and divide it by 20 micro and get the voltage. So let's take a look and see how that plays out with the next slide here. There you go. I take 1.5 millicoulombs divided by 20 microfarads, and I get 75 volts. I go over here, and I got 1.5 millicoulombs divided by 40 microfarads, and I get 37.5 volts. And over here, I've got 1.5 millicoulombs, 50 microfarads equals 30 volts. I am now dropping the mic like a boss because I'm done. I've worked out the total circuit capacitance. I've worked out the total circuit charge. I've worked out each individual charge. 
And from that, I determine what each individual voltage is. And if you add this up, 75 plus 37.5 plus 30 gets you really, really close to 140 volts. That is how you determine the volt drop across each capacitor in a series capacitor DC circuit.